So in this problem, we're given two different parametric equations, and what we're going to want to do is go ahead and solve for dy dx. So in order to solve this problem given parametric equations, you need to know that dy dx is equal to dy over or dy dt over dx dt. And so essentially what we have to do is find the derivative of x and the derivative of y, and we're going to put uh, the derivative of y over the derivative of x. And that's how we find dy dx. So let's go ahead and start with uh, x. So this is x right here. We're trying to find dy dx, or sorry, dx dt. So in order to find dx dt, let's go ahead and take the derivative of this. So it's, we're going to use the product rule. So the derivative of t is just 1 multiplied by e to the t, and then we plus uh, just the first function, which is t, multiplied by the derivative of the second function, e to the t. Derivative of e to the t is just e to the t. Right, so it's just going to be e to the t plus t times e to the t. And so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just factor out an e to the t. So e to the t, uh, and then it's just going to be 1 plus t. Right, so because e to the t times 1 is e to the t, and then e to the t times t is t e to the t. So that's dx dt. Let's find dy dt now. So this one's actually going to be easy. So it's just t plus the sine of t. Derivative of t is 1. Uh, derivative of sine is cosine. So 1 plus the cosine of t. So now we've got both dx dt and dy dt. We can go ahead and plug it in. So dy over dx, plug it in. Uh, dy is 1 plus the cosine of t over, and then it's going to be uh, dx dt, which we know is e to the t multiplied by 1 plus t. Right, so this right here is going to be answer. So dy dx equals 1 plus the cosine of t over e to the t times 1 plus t. But yeah, this is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.